Think about your friends. Are they like you? Do they look like you and talk like you? Do they dress like you and enjoy the same things you do? I bet that's true for most of us, and it's only natural. We seem to be attracted to people who are like us. Some of Jesus' closest friends were like him, but one thing that made Jesus so special was that he had some very different friends. He reached out to people that weren't like him because he loved them just as much as he loved people who were like him. Today's story is about one of those people, somebody that most people didn't like, and shows us how reaching out can help God's kingdom grow. Stories of the Bible. Jesus Calls Matthew. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. Jesus was in Capernaum and he was walking along when he saw a tax collector named Matthew sitting at his tax collector's booth. Tax collectors were hated by everyone because many people thought they were cheaters and sinners. Oh, no one likes you. Ugh, let's get out of here. But Jesus saw this man and said, Follow me and be my disciple. Me? Yeah, you. So Matthew got up, left everything, and followed him. Later, Matthew held a banquet in his home hey, yes. with Jesus as the guest of honor. Uh, you're here. Oh, thank you. Many of Matthew's fellow tax collectors and other guests also ate with them. Ugh, yuck. Hey, you! But the Pharisees and their teachers of religious law complained to Jesus' disciples, Why do you eat and drink with such scum? Ah, uh, hold on there. When Jesus heard this, he told them, Healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. Then he added, Now go on and learn the meaning of this scripture. I want you to show mercy, not offer sacrifices. For I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. So Matthew went on to be one of Jesus' 12 disciples and followed him throughout his time on earth. He even wrote a book in the Bible about Jesus' time on earth, and he served God for the rest of his life. Suppose Jesus had never become friends with Matthew. First of all, we'd be missing one of the books of the Bible, the book of Matthew. And after Jesus went back to heaven, Matthew told many people about Jesus and helped start his church. Whitewater is just one part of God's church that reaches around the whole world. And God's church looks and sounds very different in different places. Here are pictures of people worshiping Jesus in different parts of the world. They don't look like us or speak the same language, but God loves every one of them, and we should too. So when you see somebody who looks or acts differently from you, think about how many lives have been changed because Jesus became friends with Matthew. You too can make a friend and change a life.